Welcome, this is the AP Physics Workbook Solution. Here we have Unit 6, Simple Harmonic Motion. The section is 6-point G period and aptitude for an SHM. Here's the scenario. You can pause the video if you would like to read the scenario to yourself. But I would like to demonstrate you this scenario um, using a YouTube video. Alright, please pay attention. Initial speed when I stand here. I trust the conservation of mechanical energy for 100%. I may not trust myself. I'm going to release this object, and I hope I will be able to do it at zero speed, so that when it comes back, it may touch my chin, but it may not crush my chin. I want you to be extremely quiet, because this is no joke. If I don't succeed in giving it zero speed, then this will be my last lecture. <laughs> I will close my eyes. I don't want to see this. So please be very quiet. I almost didn't sleep all night. Three, two, one, zero. All right, so that video should give you a sense on what is happening in this situation. All right, and two students make this argument. Angelica is going to say the period will be greater because the distance the ball traveled in one cycle depends on the aptitude. A greater aptitude means a greater distance, which means it will take longer time to complete the cycle. Carlos says the period should be shorter because the ball will have a greater average speed as it cycles. A greater average speed would mean that it would take less time to complete the cycle. All right, so explain how this equation, first of all, you're going to write a equation here uh, for uh, the period. And if you look at your notes, it should come from this point, All right? And you can take a look here. You can derive the equation. Using this, uh, Vmax is equal to 2 pi aptitude over t. And you can solve for the period. The period equals to 2 pi a over the Vmax. All right? Just to let you know, this is going to behave the same exact way. All right? All right, so the first part. The total distance traveled in one cycle of a sine wave is uh, 4 times the aptitude. All right? The average velocity behaves like the velocity max is equal to V. Average is equal to 4 at the aptitude over T. Solving for the period, you get T equals to 4 pi, no, 4A over the V average. If you're wondering how I got that 4, if you imagine a wave like this, right? So this would be the first part. It goes to the aptitude, right? Then it goes here. This is the second part. Then it goes here. And then it goes back here. All right, you see one complete wave, there's four of them. This is an easy way of thinking about it, right? Be okay, because this would make one full circle, right? Something like that. Okay, that's how they got this equation. All right, now using this equation, explain how the equation supports Angelica's reasoning. All right. I would say that Angelica argues that the greater the aptitude means a larger value for the period. If Angelica is correct, that means because the aptitude is in the numerator, uh, it's on top, right? When the aptitude increases in its numerator, the other side, where the period is, also has to increase to remain balanced. Next, you're going to explain how the equation su uh, supports Carlos's reasoning. All right, so Carlos argues that the greater velocity means a smaller value for the period. If Carlos is correct, that is because the velocity is in the numerator. When the velocity increases in the numerator on the left side, I mean on the right hand side, the overall left hand side, which is the period, also has to decrease. As a result, the period has to also decrease to remain balanced. All right, so. Let's see if this actually makes sense, all right? Okay, so here's the argument. Carlos, 
is correct about the attitude of the oscillation will result in a graver speed. Okay, explain why in this case in the terms of the force exerting on the ball. So, a great aptitude means a larger angle for the pendulum. The component of the force tangent to the path of the pendulum is basically mg sine theta. As the theta increases, then the force will increase. When the force increases, there will be a greater amount of speed due to the increase in acceleration. Here you go if you would like to see it visually. Right? The force that is pulling it down is this mg sine theta. Okay? And again, as theta increases, Okay, this value increases, okay, because this approaches the value of 1. Next one, explain this again, but now using mechanical energy in the ball earth system. All right, I would say the graded aptitude means actually a larger angle for the pendulum that the ball th that has the ball in the pendulum being lifted to a high initial height. Okay. The higher the initial height in the ball earth system means a higher gravitational potential energy. Then the pendulum is released and it goes towards equilibrium. All the potential energy now has to convert it into kinetic energy, resulting in its faster speed because there's more potential energy that is being converted. Okay, so here are all your answers. There's one more question here, okay? But I would like to give you some explanation on here and using uh, the lab, all right? So, let's see if we can make sense out of some of this work using this lab. Okay, so what we hear is we have a pendulum, all right, and I'm going to set the period timer here, okay? So let's test the first thing out. So Angelica said that the period will be greater because the distance the ball has to travel has to be bigger. All right. So let's set this to, let's say, five. Right now, I'm going to let it go. OK. It's going to oscillate here perfectly. All right. I'm going to set up the timer for the period. So this was when it was at five. The period here is one point six, seven, nine, two. All right. Let me stop. Now let me set it to, let's say, 6, okay? Let's go with the period timer, 1.6795. That's super close, all right? Let's go to, let's see, 7. 1.68, that's still super close, all right? So... Does the larger amplitude here, because we increased the amplitude, right? We went from uh, 5, 6 to 7. Did it really affect the period? Not that much, right? Okay. So next, we talked about, so this was for part A. Now let's go to part B. Um, part B talks about the forces. So let me put the acceleration graph here and see if this makes sense. We said that Carlos argues that the greater amplitude of the oscillation will result in a great, greater average speed. And here's the velocity, okay? I'm going to turn this into very slow, and I'm going to set this to, let's say, let's start, let's start off with 5, okay? Notice that the acceleration is still very small, all right? Okay? And the acceleration and the velocity is still very small, right? But now let's go up to, let's say, 20. L bigger force, more acceleration. That makes sense, right? Because there's a greater component of force tangent to the path of the ball, and a greater force will result. That means it has to have a greater speed, all right? Now, the next part was asking it in terms of energy. So let me put the energy chart, okay? So let me restart it. So at, so notice if at zero, it has nothing. But let's say I go up to 10. Do you see how there's some potential energy? That makes sense, right? Now, let's say I go up to 40. Notice as I increase the aptitude, 
the potential energy increases. Why? Because again, there is a gain of height. Okay, so the greater the angle, the ball is being lifted, the greater the height, that means the greater the potential energy. All right, good. That should explain the first part of part B, uh, the second part of part B. Let me show you how it looks like at 20, okay? Let me do normal speed, okay? Do you see how it's oscillating between potential and kinetic? But it, the total remains the same, correct? Okay. I'm going to stop this. Now I'm going to go up to, let's say, uh, 40. Do you see the energy of the system now increase? It's still all potential. Notice how it, when it comes to the middle, it becomes all kinetic, and it oscillates in between this. Okay, that should make sense. Now let's go up to, let's say, 70. Same thing, a greater force, right? But we could also say here, there is more potential is being converted to more of the kinetic, but the total stays the same. Good, do you see it's kinetic and potential oscillating, right? So what we have here is the simple harmonic motion, right? And I wanted to talk to you about this aptitude idea right so let me run this notice right it's the spring is being oscillated right it behaves the same exact way okay notice what happens when I increase the aptitude do you see the period here is 6.28 what happens if I increase the aptitude let's say it goes to a large number it's still 6.28 right what about if I decrease it? It's still going to be 6.28. All right. Why is that? So what I want to include in the last part is this information. All right. This is the calculation for it. If you want to see the calc explanation, here it is. Okay. But for what you want to know is that the period is equal to 2 pi square root of L over G. You should look at this idea and let me read it to you. The period of a pendulum does not depend on the mass of the ball, but on the length of the string. Look at the first one. Do you see how the blue one is shorter, faster period? The gray is medium, so it has the medium period, and the black line is the longest line. It has the slowest period. It takes more time for it to have a complete cycle. Okay. Now, with the assumption of small angles, the frequency and period of a pendulum are independent of its initial angle displacement of the aptitude. Okay, the pendulum will have the same period regard of its initial angle. Right? This means that you can, for small angles, you can avoid the aptitude. The aptitude it doesn't affect it. All right. So now we could answer our last question with that idea. Okay, I have the information here. All right, given the correct prediction, now that we know about the PR increasing, decreasing, or remaining the same as the amplitude increases, assuming the pendulum undergoes a small angle oscillation, exactly like what we said, okay? Like in the notes, with the assumption of small angle, uh, okay? All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this information, boom, and bring it over. That could be my exact answer. All right. There you go. So all I have to say is that the period will remain the same. I would say the period remains the same. Okay. And here's the exact explanation why. Remember, it only depend <laughs> it only depends on the length of the string and the gravitational pull. So if this goes to a different planet, it would be a complete answer. It would be a completely different answer, all right? There you go. Those are all your answers uh, for six point G.